When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Hey there, fellow travel enthusiasts. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're embarking on a captivating adventure in the island town of Lamb, located off the coast of Kenya. Get ready to immerse yourself in its rich history, vibrant culture, and awe inspiring beauty. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Our first stop is Lamu Old Town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that boasts of a fascinating blend of Swahili, Arabic, and Indian influences. Here, the primary mode of transport is by foot. You can also hitch a donkey ride. Walking is the most common way to navigate the narrow alleyways and explore the town's attraction such as Lamu Museum, Lamu Fort, and traditional Swahili houses. Almost like 300 years, 250 years. Janat House, a hidden gem in the heart of Lamu Old Town. This magnificent building, dating back to the 19th century, is an architectural marvel and a window into Lamu's rich cultural heritage. Janat House is not just a museum, it also serves as a cultural center, hosting events and exhibitions that celebrate the arts, music, and traditions of Lamu. It is a hub for creativity and a space where locals and visitors come together to preserve and showcase the heritage of Lamu Island. Let's explore. So this is how a Swahili house used to look like. So this is one bedroom and you can see this where they used to they used to put the curtain to separate the room from the other room. So this would be one bedroom and on the other side you would find the second bedroom. Parent would sleep on the other on one side and children on the other side. This is what we call bidaka. This is how uh, the Ram people used to decorate their house using different things. Here, perhaps they would put the, the lamp here to light up the area. And uh, the star shape decoration you see there is called kinara. Kinara, they would put a lamp inside there which would light up this area. So uh, this is how a typical Swahili house used to look like. As you can see, the history has been well preserved. So this is the first house in Lamu that had a swimming pool. And as you can see, it is still standing today. A house that is more than 300 years old. The Swahili house shows the culture and how the Swahili people used to live. You are like all the Like an angel set me free Where are you now? Do you feel safe? Don't you let now let's make our way to Lamu Fort, commonly Stay. known as Lamu Sleep Market. Don't let me darken your front. And this is Lam Slave House, also known as Lamu Slave Market. This is where most of slaves from different parts of East Africa were brought and would be traded here by the Arabs. It serves as a significant reminder of the painful past during the slave trade in East Africa. Stepping inside, we find ourselves in a courtyard a space that witnessed the anguish of those who were bought and sold. It is a somber place where we take a moment to reflect on the injustice that occurred here and the long-lasting impact it had on countless lives. Where the Ramsleaf house is a painful reminder of a dark era, it also stands as a symbol of hope and the resilience. It serves as a platform for education, encouraging visitors to learn from history and work toward a more just and inclusive future. This well-preserved fortress provides a panoramic view of the town and the mesmerizing Swahili coastline. Trust me, you won't want to miss this breathtaking sight.
outside the fort, the Islamic Square. Also known as Lamu Old Town Square. It's a vibrant public space located in the heart of Lamu Old Town. It is a lively hub where the past and present converge. Lamu Square is the central gathering place for locals and visitors alike. It is a true reflection of community spirit and the tradition that have shaped Lamu for centuries. Welcome to Lamu CBD, Central Business District. It is in this art gallery I got to see some amazing artwork. Here, a piece like this cost Kenya shilling 800,000, and a medium size like this one will cost you Kenya shilling 250,000. What I'm holding here at Kenya Sharing 24,000.
Next, we head to the Lamu Archipelago, a cluster of stunning islands just off the coast. Our destination, Shira Beach. Here, we witness the ancient art of door building, passed down through generations. The skilled craftsmen work diligently, fashioning these majestic vessels using traditional techniques, ensuring that this heritage lives on. Sorry? This slice of paradise offers the ultimate tropical escape where you can relax, soak up the sun and enjoy the gentle ocean breeze. But the adventure will not be complete without visiting the enchanting Lamu Museum. Housed in a beautifully restored Swahili mansion, it offers a glimpse into the island history, showcasing artifacts, cultural exhibits, and traditional crafts. It is the perfect place to learn about Lambo's captivating past. They say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance And there you have it, my friends. Our adventure in the Lamu has come to an end. But the memories we have created will last a lifetime. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, 
and hit the notification bell to join me on future adventures. Until next time, keep exploring, keep dreaming, keep spreading love. See you soon. Just close your